hello guys and welcome to the channel i hope that you are good so i just want to tell you about this very quick and short i've made like five or six videos and always been deleting because they've been too long like five six minutes and it's very a bit complicated but i will try and simplify it swallows is having problems financially uh and if those problems are not fixed the only way they can be fixed is to get some financial injection like a sponsorship like the chairman said if we don't get a sponsorship soon we'll have to release players we'll have to sell maybe players if you release maybe that player is being paid a lot of money maybe about andile charlie i'm a player makulu i think but well malini i'm just making an example or you release the player so that you don't have to pay them yeah but or you just sell that player so that you get something back or last results you sell the club if yeah if none of this happens if they don't get any financial injection they might have to sell the club so they had a possibility of getting a sponsor there was a sponsor which came through a gold rush they wanted to sponsor morocco swallows gold rush uh, has to do with betting also amongst other things so the problem that i've gotten when i read the article because it's a bit long and it's a bit vague you know it needs you to read and read and read so that you understand is that epsl now if una ok sign a sponsor which is also into betting like it is so they are similar sponsors right morocco swallows gold rush betting uh, company now psl wants to sign with a betting company also or a similar company which makes it difficult right for you to just sign as a club with a a sponsor that is similar to the one that is signed with the psl so there's a declaration that the psl has put in place to say the, your sponsor is morocco swallows must sign this declaration first before they can sponsor you as a club psl is on top obviously right so they put this declaration and then the other sponsor equal rush must sign it but equal rush decided not to sign and the i think if you you put one in one you'll get two and the two is that it means that this declaration kind of favors the psl and the sponsor that they want to sign with and less favors the sponsor that wants to sign with swallows i think that's what i get logically that's the only reason that they would not want to sign this declaration so as a result swallows are still searching for a sponsorship and i wish them all the best so you can have a similar sponsor you know like for example a telecommunication company sponsorship uh, slc can sponsor you as swallows and any vodacom is sponsor pirates it's fine right it's the telecommunication and stuff but if it also sponsors the psl like mtn sponsors the psl then it becomes a bit problematic because there must be this declaration so if you see pirates being sponsored by vodacom and psl being sponsored by mtn because mtn sponsors the mtn 8 cup then it means that there was this declaration that had to be signed by vodacom maybe obviously it favored them or it was equal or something because the only thing that would make a gold rush not to sign the declaration before signing with swallows is maybe this declaration does not favor them i hope i think i explained i tried you know so yeah it's a problem it's easy when it's just clubs but if it also has to do with the psl inside an issue